In this video, I'm going to derive the formula for orthogonal projection. We read this term as orthogonal projection of u on a. The orthogonal projection of u on a is the vector w1. The majority of textbooks, they use this notation here, but I think that for students, it's just easy to write w1 here. In many problems, the vectors u and a, they have a common point, q, and then you want to decompose u in two vectors, w1 and w2. See in the formula that w1 is just a function of u and a, and not w2, because w2 is orthogonal to w1. Let's start the derivation of w1. See that you can write as the scalar k times the vector a. See here that the w1 has the same direction of vector a. It's just the magnitude that varies. That means the problem is to figure out what is the scalar k. We know what this k is because we saw the formula before, but let's derive it. Let's start with the dot product of u and a. And we know that u is w1 plus w2. We can see here that you sum up w1 and w2, you get u. Now, let's replace w1 by ka. And ka times a, you get k, the square of the norm of a. And we copy w2 times a. And we vanish with w2a, because w2 is orthogonal to a. And then, in this equation, we isolate k, and k equal the dot product of u and a divided by the square of the norm of a. And the, what about w2? w2 is just u minus w1. We also call w2 as the vector component of u orthogonal to a. 